Welcome back to The Better Show, everybody. Our next guest has sold 30 million albums, is a six-time Grammy Award winner, and she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And now she is out with a new album, How Mercy Looks From Here. Welcome to Amy Grant. Good to have you with us. Hi, yes. thank you. Nice to have so, you here. So uh, the big question is, it's been, what, 10 years? 10 years, a little your, over 10 years. Since, since your last album. What was the thing that motivated you to get back in the studio and record a whole new album? Uh, well, life li is lived in rhythms, you know, and I never quit recording, I never quit touring, but it was sort of two songs here, three songs there with mm -hmm. the best of, and I had such a great run with music years ago, and I thought that was it. And then a lot of really crazy life things happened, um, and unexpected. And then my mom passed away two years ago. And then about a year after that, all of a sudden, I just got this rocket engine attached to my creativity. Hmm. And I just thought, I've, you know, at 52, I've learned so many great lessons about how to frame life experiences in a way that are helpful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just thought, well, I'm just going to pour all this into a song. Did you always know, even when you were in that break, that you wanted to come back out and do even more? I mean, did you have that in the mm -hmm. back of your mind, or were you just focused on the... No, I was just now? doing... Uh, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, Vince and I were... Uh, we did a summer show with James Taylor. Mm -hmm. And I was on the side of the stage going, he hasn't done one song that's younger than 35 years old. Who needs new <laughs> stuff? You know, I thought, great. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I, and you know, I had, um, I have three kids in their 20s now, but when they were in their teens, of course they wished I was on the road all the time. <laughs> right, you know? mom's gone again, party at <laughs> my place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. Well, and speaking uh, of James Taylor, James Taylor, uh, you collaborated with a lot of mm -hmm. amazing people for the I album. I did. James Taylor, yeah. Um, well, I thought, what if it takes another 10 years? I better cross the bucket list <laughs> off yeah. now, right. or I'll be, yeah. Yeah, and Cheryl yeah. Crow's on there, too? Cheryl yeah. Crow, uh, Carol King, Will Hogue, who's from just south of Nashville, and he's mm -hmm. such a great... His voice is like a young Bruce Springsteen, and he's a great writer. Really? Um, Eric Pasley is n not as yet known, but he's got such a classic voice. Um, and then James Taylor singing on the first single. Wow. So good. So good, as you said, bucket list experiences to get to work with these people and to record with them, right? Absolutely. Um, and then my children, for my birthday this last year, all five of our... Um, blended family all sang this oh and my dad who has profound dementia is actually singing on the, the song with james he's one of the voices going into the chorus it's just boom 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 and he can't even say hi amy but because music is the last thing to go and that is the same melody as Frere Jaca. Yeah. So two trips to the studio and i would just we put a mic just in a seating area and I'd start singing Frere Jacques, and we had the right pitch and everything. And of course, once he did the bomb, 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 we'd have to do the whole oh. song. <laughs> right, right. So it's it so therapeutic, but... though. It really yeah. is. It, it really is. Everybody differently. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, you had mentioned your your parents, and in, in terms of caring for your parents, a lot of baby boomers are trying to figure out financially, especially, how to take right. care of their parents and also their family as well. And I know that you partnered up with an organization to help people kind of navigate that whole world. I did. It's a consumer advocacy group, the um, National Association of Insurance Commissioners. Mm -hmm. Because people need to understand what they have. Right. This is not right. a selling site. It's just saying, I'm at this point in my, in my life, what do I need to plan for? Mm -hmm. uh, but my mom and dad, the best gift they gave their four daughters was education, love and respect, and that they took care to be sure that they were taken care of in their later life. Exactly. So I'm going, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I need to. I need to start thinking about this. I need to start this. thinking about well, it. None yeah. of us want to think about that, and, but, but it is it's one of those things that if you don't right. think about it, you'll certainly pay for it later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or your kids will. Yeah, or your kids. Absolutely, better so. to deal with it now. Well, congratulations. You're going to stick around and, and perform for us, right? I am. Okay, yeah. good. Get another little treat. Don't okay. go away, because like we said in a little bit, Amy's going to do a single off of her new album. That's right, of course. Now, here's Amy Grant singing her first single from her new album, How Mercy Looks From Here, called Don't Try So Hard.
Try so hard. 